Hello, uh, let me share my techniques for uh, formatting paragraphs using HTML5 and some very unknown tags like the Q tag to format paragraphs also using the nth child technique. The nth child technique, so in today's class, we're going to cover nth child proper paragraph formatting, Q tag, which is for quotation tag, block quote, and the new HTML5 mark tag. So, this page is just simply five paragraphs. There's no div tags. In fact, if you look at your styles over here to the right, there is no HTML, CSS styles at this point. If you go to your code, you'll see that this is an HTML5 page. The HTML5 page was created in Dreamweaver 5.5, CS5.5, simply by clicking HTML5. So this is just a basic page with five paragraphs of text. So let's get started here. Okay. I want to share with you a very powerful technique using nth child. Now what nth child does enables you to talk any tag. I can talk to an h tag, a paragraph tag, a div tag, a header tag, any kind of tag that's supported in either HTML5 or HTML4. So here's how it works. Let's say as an example that I want to make, here's one, two, three, four, five paragraphs. I'd like to make every first third and fifth paragraph read. Well, a alternative way is I could give this paragraph here an ID tag. I'd call it paragraph one, call this paragraph three, call this paragraph five. That could work, but I could also swim to England. There's a lot of things we could do, but these are things we should do. So a simplistic way around this is yes, I could create a class tag, but let's just make this so simple, it's frankly simple. So we're simply going to select the tag. Select the tag, bottom left-hand corner, boom. Select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. We're going to make a combination rule. We're going to make this less specific. So it's P for paragraph tag we want to talk to. So it's P, simple, simple technique here. P colon nth, N-T-H hyphen, child, then we want to talk to the first, the third, and the fifth paragraph. Basically, we want to talk to the odd paragraph, so we can just type in O-D-D. -D. Now, this odd paragraph, I'm simply going to make red, so I hit OK, and I change this to red. Now, if you hit the apply option, nothing's going to happen, and if you hit OK, Nothing's going to happen because you have to either post it to the server or go to live view. When I click live view, the paragraphs indeed turn red. So that's the first, third, fifth, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, because we set our CSS rules to paragraph colon nth hyphen child parenthesis odd close parenthesis. So how would I do the even ones the same way? So let's do this from scratch. Select the P tag, select the P tag, select the tag, make a rule, select the tag, make a rule. It's going to be a combination tag, so it's going to be compound. Again, less specific. So P colon and hyphen child, open parenthesis, even close parenthesis. So in this particular case, let's make this paragraph blue. Make a change, save a change. So again, you can't see this happening until the CSS styles are here. Here's the odd rule, here's the even rule. But unfortunately, you can't see this until you either publish it to the server or go to live view. How cool is that? Okay, so let's break this down very, very simply. Let's first define and understand what a paragraph is. A paragraph in code view is simply text that's encased inside the paragraph tag. P for paragraph, open paragraph, closing paragraph. In design mode, we can simply create a paragraph by hitting the return key. Anytime with the return key, it's gonna make a new paragraph. So very important to understand that. Don't confuse a paragraph with a line break, which is shift return. Shift return creates a new line, but not a new 
paragraph. A paragraph is created by having the return key, two different things happening. So if you want to stylize a paragraph, then it's a paragraph is inside the P tag. So once you understand what a paragraph is, we can talk to and format that particular paragraph. So as an example here, if you just wanted to talk all the paragraphs on the page, of course, you would simply hit the P tag, select the tag, make a rule, select the tag, make a rule, go to compound. Now, in this particular case, two choices, compound or tag would suffice. So P tag. So let's say as an example, I want to set the rule for the P tag, in this particular case, for the entire site. So I want to basically make my paragraphs line height be one. 0.6 m spaces. For those of you that don't know, an m space is equal to the height of the letter m. So if you had a body tag that was 10 pixels, 1.6 m would be 16 pixels, 1.6 times m, the height of the capital M. Now what this is used for is putting letting in desktop publishing world, it's known as letting, but it puts more space between the lines per paragraph. If that's too much, I could say 1.4 m's. 1.4 m's, 1.3 m's, etc., etc., etc. Now, in addition to that, I want to put x amount of space below my paragraph. So I'm going to say margin space is outside the box at the bottom of the paragraph. I'm going to make this 1.2 m spaces. So again, if your body copy defaulted to 10 pixels, 1.2 times 10 is 12. Therefore, it's relative. It's so good to have to get into with dealing with spacing to deal with M space, EM, which is equal to the height of a capital M. Make a change, save a change. So right now, the only thing I have on this page, I have no div tags, I just have content. I have a series of paragraphs. The paragraphs has been set up to be the P tag. The P tag has been set up to basically be these settings here, okay? Now, I, again, I just want to keep this very, very simple. I don't have a body tag, I have an H1 tag, I have no div tags. This is simply talking about paragraph formatting to keep it so simple, it's frightening. Okay, so let's understand how I can talk to the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth paragraph differently. Again, I can do this with nth child. So I can just select any paragraph tag, P for paragraph, and I can say select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. It's going to be a combination of more than one, so it's going to be compound. We're going to say less specific. So it's going to be P colon and hyphen child open parenthesis. We want to talk to the first paragraph. We're going to put the number one. Now, what do we want to do to the first paragraph? Paragraph. Notice that the title of this rule, select the tag, make a rule, is P for paragraph colon and hyphen child inside of parentheses one, which represents paragraph one, or the first paragraph that it sees on the page. We're simply going to make this one red. Now again, you can't see that happening until either publish it to the server or you hit live code. I'm sorry, not live code. My mistake on this guy's live view. I don't need to see live code. My mistake. Okay, so I just want to see live view. Live view shows me that first paragraph. Okay, now how do I do the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth? Well, simple, 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 which I like to keep things simple way to do this is to right click or control Macintosh pop up menu, duplicate this. So let's call this paragraph two. Okay, let's duplicate that. Let's make this one paragraph three. The three P, basically this is saying P for paragraph and child three. Okay, let's duplicate that. Let's make that paragraph four. Now, if you've been paying attention here, all the paragraphs are the same because we haven't done anything differently. So for paragraph two, we're gonna make paragraph two Blue, because blue rhymes with two. How about that? Okay. We're going to make paragraph three. Let's make paragraph three green. Let's make paragraph four 
let's make that orange, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, very important step here, we didn't set the color for the, the original P. So as an example, P by default, the default color for any text is black. We didn't have to set it to black because it defaults to black. So if I go to my live view, you will see that these paragraphs, the first four, one, two, three, four paragraphs are set using nth child, one, two, three, four. How cool is that? So you can format this a lot of different ways. We can throw a lot of other things to our paragraphs. So as an example, we can say, okay, I want the first paragraph to be this typeface, and I want it to be 120%, which means it's going to be 20% bigger than the default paragraph. Now, if you want to, we can go to the P for paragraph and set that to 100%. So therefore, it defaults to 100% inside the browser window. For paragraph two, we can say, let's set this typeface to Tacoma, and let's set this to be 80%. And for paragraph four, we're gonna skip three. For paragraph four, we're gonna make this aerial black. We're gonna make this uppercase. Again, I'm just sharing with you the flexibility of how important nth child is because you can talk to the paragraphs as they appear on the page. Now, from a design standpoint, this is gonna look like a total nightmare, but this is basically the understanding of and child, not the aesthetics of what the page looks like. So let's make this be 160%. And let's make this just because we can, italic, make a change, save a change. So again, this is not gonna be affected until I go to live view. So there's my different paragraph formatting for my paragraphs. The bottom one, two, three paragraphs are defaulting to the P tag. So whatever you set the P tag to be, that's what is going to be affected. So we're going to basically continue on with this. But these are the first two videos. I will post the third video and subsequent videos later today.